Welcome or welcome back Star Wars fans to the channel where we dive deep into the galaxy far, far away, doing character studies and analysis, as well as digging deep into plots, themes, and the stories within the Star Wars universe. Lately, we've been on a Star Wars and or kick, going through every bit we can to discover the story and the characters within Andor. But sadly, we're getting close to the end, at which time I will dive into Rogue One. And stick around until the end of this video for a special message. You won't want to miss it. In the Star Wars universe, we often see the heroes of the Rebellion bathed in the light of hope. Figures like Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia, and Mon Mothma, who inspire hope and rally the galaxy against the tyranny of the Empire. But in Andor, we meet a character who thrives in the shadows. A man whose very existence is intertwined with the darkest corners of the Rebellion. His name is Luthen Rael. Who is Luthen Rael? What motivates him to make such brutal decisions in his fight against the Empire? And most importantly, what kind of scars has accumulated along the way? Scars that he constantly tries to fix for a sunrise he will never live to see. In this video, we'll dive deep into the complexities of Luthen Rael's character, focusing on interactions with Lonnie Jung and... Saul Guerrera. We'll explore his cunning manipulation of these figures and the significance of the dark, shadowy settings where he often meets with them. We'll also unpack the powerful use of lighting, music, and atmosphere that Andor uses to frame Luthen's tragic and enigmatic character. But before we get into it completely, sit tight and listen to the tiny voice that is in your conscience. What color is an orange? Orange, you say? Good, you passed the test. Now subscribe to my channel and show everyone how intelligent you are. The world won't know you're the best there is, and the Star Wars Cantina Band will sing your praises in an obscure language that requires a translator for anyone to understand. But at least they'll be singing about you, and it will stop them from performing Gangnam Style repeatedly. So, subscribe and be the best. <laughs> love that little voice. Anyways, Luther Rael's meetings are rarely in bright open spaces. Instead, he thrives in darkness, literally and metaphorically. His secret meeting with Lonnie Jung takes place deep in the bowels of Coruscant, in the forgotten industrial zones where only shadows and echoes reside. The dim lighting of their conversation emphasizes Luthen's elusive nature, casting long shadows on the walls as if to remind us that Luthen himself is a shadow, moving unseen, manipulating from the darkness. As Luthen explains what he sacrifices for the rebellion, the lighting subtly shifts. When Lonnie asks, what do you sacrifice? The harsh, artificial light flickers slightly casting Luthen's face in stark contrast, highlighting the deep lines of exhaustion and regret etched into his features. It's a visual metaphor for Luthen's internal struggle. While he tries to remain calm, controlled figure, we can see the cracks beginning to form beneath his stoic exterior. The music, minimal and haunting, slowly builds in the background. It's a low, unsettling hum that mirrors the growing tension between Luthen and Lonnie, like the ticking of a time bomb ready to explode. This interaction isn't just a manipulating Lonnie scheme. It's a moment of self-reflection for Luthen. He reveals that he sacrificed his own soul, burning away his life for a cause that he will never recognize his contribution. He's resigned to the idea that he will die without ever seeing the Empire fall. It's a gut-wrenching realization, emphasized by the dim, claustrophobic setting and the eerie score. The darkness enveloping Luthen mirrors the abyss that he stares into every day. Then there's Lonnie Jung, standing just inside the elevator, trapped by walls. Metaphorically, this is him trapped in a situation he doesn't want to be in. In Andor, lighting is used not just to set the mood, but to tell us who these characters are at their core. Luthen is often found in places where the light barely touches, suggesting that he's a man deeply immersed in the underbelly of rebellion, forever caught in moral ambiguity. He pulls the strings from these dark places, his plans unfolding in the shadows where only the desperate and determined dare to venture, using his enemy's tools against him. Emperor Palpatine being of darkness. Luthen operating in the darkness. 
Luthen's relationship with Saul Guerrero is one of the most compelling and complex dynamics in Andor. Saul, a character who has always straddled the line between rebellion and extremism, senses that Luthen is hiding something from him. In their confrontations, particularly when discussing Anto Krieger's mission, the lighting plays a critical role in showing us the nature of their conversation. When Luthen meets Saul to convince him not to join Krieger's mission, the setting is once again dark and claustrophobic. Saul's hideout is dimly lit with sharp beams of light slicing through the haze, highlighting the tension between the two men. Saul is bathed in light, representing his uncompromising stance and straightforward brutality, while Luthen remains half-hidden in shadow, symbolizing his manipulative and secretive nature. In these moments, the lighting creates a visual chessboard, with Luthen and Saul as opposing pieces. As they argue over the fate of Anto Krieger, the flickering light seems to dance around them, as if reflecting the volatile nature of their conversation. Saul, perceptive as ever, quickly realizes that Luthen is withholding information from him. The camera lingers on Saul's face, bathed in the cold, harsh light while Luthen's face is shrouded in shadow, his true feelings obscured, much like his past. The music during this conversation is sparse but effective. A tense, low rumble underscores the dialogue, rising and falling in tandem with the intensity of their exchange. It's as if the music itself is holding its breath, waiting for the inevitable explosion of tension. When Luthen finally admits that he's willing to sacrifice Anto Krieger's men, the music swells, matching the gravity of the decision. But when Saul challenges Luthen, questioning his willingness to play God with people's lives, the music shifts to a more dissonant, unsettling tone. It's as if we're being reminded that Luthen's choices are not just strategic, they're morally ambiguous, and they come at a great personal cost. Luthen's hesitation with Saul Guerrero speaks volumes. When he's quick to let Anto Krieger die, there's a brief moment of doubt when he considers involving Saul. It's as if, for the first time, Luthen's cold, calculated logic is challenged by a flicker of guilt. Saul's perceptiveness forces Luthen to confront his own moral compass. He sees in Saul a kindred spirit, someone who has also sacrificed everything for the rebellion. Perhaps that's why Luthen spares Saul from Krieger's fate, because he sees too much of himself in Saul, a man willing to go to any length but who also carries the weight of each decision like a scar. It's worth noting that while Luthen represents himself as a man driven solely by the rebellion, there's something more personal at play. His interactions with Saul hint at a shared past, a connection that runs deeper than mere strategic alliance. Could it be that they've fought side by side in a battle long forgotten? Or perhaps they were once on opposing sides of a conflict, only to find themselves united against a greater evil. This mystery of Luthen's past is deliberately left unexplained, adding to the allure of his character. He's a man haunted by decisions he may never fully understand, and yet it's those very decisions that make him such a compelling figure in Andor. One of the most profound lines in Andor comes from Luthen Rael himself. I burn my life to make a sunrise I know I'll never see. This line encapsulates the tragic nature of his character. Luthen is fully aware that his actions, his sacrifices, will lead to a better galaxy, but he also knows that he will not live to see it. He's condemned himself to the shadows, fighting a battle that will ultimately consume him, just as the shadows have. The idea of scar fixing himself is a powerful metaphor for Luthen's internal struggle. He is constantly trying to repair the damage done by years of fighting, but those scars will never fully heal. He's a man broken by the cause, but one who refuses to stop because the alternative, allowing the Empire to win, is unthinkable. Luthen's encounters with characters like Lonnie Jung and Saro Guerrera reveal the complexity of his internal conflict. He's willing to sacrifice lives, manipulate allies, and even betray his own morals for the greater good. And yet there are moments when we see the toll this takes on him. He hesitates with Saul, 
feels a flicker of guilt over Krieger and reveals the depths of his sacrifices to Yetlani. These aren't the actions of a heartless tactician. They're the actions of a man who knows he's losing himself piece by piece, but can't stop because the cause is too important. The lighting and music in Andor work in tandem to highlight this internal struggle. Luthen is rarely seen in the light, and when he is, it's usually harsh and unforgiving. The shadows that follow him are a constant reminder of the darkness he inhabits, both physically and morally. The music, often eerie and minimalist, underscores the weight of his decisions, creating an atmosphere of tension and unease. Luthen Rael is one of the most fascinating characters in Andor, not just because of his strategic brilliance, but because of the moral complexity that defines him. He's a man willing to sacrifice everything, his peace, his relationships, even his humanity, for a cause he believes in. And yet, he's also deeply scarred, both by the choices he's made and the scars he's trying to fix. As we explore Luthen's journey through the series, we're reminded that the rebellion isn't just about grand battles or heroic speeches. It's fought in the shadows by people like Luthen Rael, who make the difficult decisions no one else can. His story is one of tragedy, of a man burning his life away for a cause that will outlive him. In the end, Luthen will never see the sunrise he fights for, but it's his willingness to sacrifice that makes that sunrise possible. Luthen's relationships with Lani Jung and Saul Guerrera offer us a glimpse into the burden he carries. He manipulates Lani, showing no mercy as he pushes him deeper into the Empire's clutches. Yet with Saul, there's hesitation. Saul is a reflection of the man Luthen might have become had he allowed his own extremism to overtake his tactical mind. The respect and caution he shows towards Saul hints at a shared history or perhaps just a recognition that they are both men broken by the cause, scarred in ways that will never heal. The idea of fixing scars is a potent symbol for Luthen. It's not just his physical scars we're talking about. It's the emotional and psychological damage he's endured. Every decision he makes, every life he sacrifices, adds another layer to those scars. He's a man desperately trying to fix what's broken within himself, even though he knows it's a futile effort. He can never be whole again, just as the galaxy he fights for will never fully be free from conflict. We know that Luthen's story will end in tragedy. He himself admits that he's burning his life away for a future he will never see. The rebellion will continue long after he's gone, but Luthen's sacrifices will be felt in every victory the rebellion achieves. His scars, both seen and unseen, are a testament to the cost of rebellion. I had so much more I wanted to say about Luthen Rael, but I think I'll save that for another video. Yeah, let's extend it out a little bit. But I wanted to keep this video a little shorter than I have the last few. But now I'd like to take the time to give you guys a brief update on the news about the channel, Star Wars Fanatic itself. Lately, I've been changing the way I do things with the channel, giving more content, keeping my opinion out of anything related to Star Wars. So with that, I want the channel's appearance and name to reflect these changes. So in the community tab, I set up a post to get a channel name suggestion from all of you. And so far, there have been some amazing responses. With doing this, it makes you all feel like you're part of this channel, because you are. Without you, this would never be possible. But it's taking me a bit longer to sift through and find five that suit what I'm doing here because there are so many awesome responses. I'll sit through today and post my favorite five in a poll in the community section of this channel. Then you can all vote for what you'd like the channel name to be. I do have a favorite so far, but I will keep it to myself and let you all decide. Thank you for listening. And I can't wait to see what you pick. Now, listen to the tiny voice again. No one can predict the Star Wars Cantina Band set list, but they are likely singing your praises just for making it this far into the video. Subscribe now and submit your place in the history books of the Mos Eisley Cantina. And when you're finished hitting the subscribe button, play Party Rock Anthem by LMFAO over and over and over until you learn how to shuffle. Until the next video, this is Gerald, and I am a Star Wars fanatic for now. Thank you all for watching, and remember, this is the way, and may the Force be with you always.